This is day 483 of Erev Shulchan Yomi. If you'd like to sponsor our Kermit Shem, more of Erev Shulchan Yomi, please contact me directly. We're talking about today uh, in Simon Shin Ches, Sif Mem Gimel, through Nun, about uh, um, how your Miyache ate in Barboni. So the question is asked here. If you have a stone on top of a barrel of wine, you incline and you can climb the barrel inside and it falls, that's okay. That's only if you got it there. But you've literally put the stone there, and then the barrel becomes a base for a sum, which is also. Brief for Brahman Pasco came. Let's go to the Strong Simon test. Now, putting it on top of the barrel should be considered a designation to make it a Kaylee. Why should I say the Kaylee fact that literally put it there on the rabbit? It should make the stone mutter because now it doesn't to be a barrel stopper. Um, uh, but with, in order to be a, uh, 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 stone or to bricks or whatever to as a, um, a chair that you sat upon from before Shabbos began. If you put Deliberately stone on the barrel that's designated to be a keli. On the Quran show, Ran Zal Shalom Kujazu, Ran asks questions. He says, "Davka Charoyes Malizeh." It's like about palm fronds. This works. Mishum the dark and the because people normally sit on them. Avol Emin ain't that cold in here. I'm being covered with some, but you don't usually use a stone in order to close a barrel. Vlo Mahani had nothing to be bold. The other bold yom ayin sham and putting it down there from before Shabbos begins is insufficient. The Zelkus first and Magen Mishnah Shevenu. That's like a Magen Mishnah which he brought previously. Memdal, I'm not a Rosh, but Zal Pirush Baruch Hu Nach. The Rosh Baruch has a different interpretation. The Rosh evidently brings this as well. The Rosh Baruch Hu Sfirah Sfirah Zu. Rosh doesn't hold this logic. It's all Kol Shavu Kisfarah Seinu. Everything is is uh, equal as we have said. Shishal Lumi Menu. They ask them as follows. I'm Yachir Evan Leif Tzor Bo Egozi. If somebody uh, designates a stone to crack nuts. In Mutara Tav, we allowed to carry the stone. But actually, the Mutzah says it's permissible. Achbir Shich Denim Lo Olam Letash Mizeh, but he has to designate for this purpose forever. Avli Michda Rakhu Shabbos, if he designated just for this Shabbos, and the Mutzah, that's insufficient. So, Achmaisa, I need a Maisa in order to actually make it a Kaili. Zel Tav, Emma Shal Bi Achabas, the Menech Nasa Bussed Over Asr. That's why the stone on top of the barrel also becomes a Bussed Over Asr. Mishum the Lo Yichda Lo Olam, because he didn't designate. For uh, forever to be um, a uh, barrel plus a uh, barrel stop or whatever you want to call it. Iron shop. I read the Rashi was for the Chilka Rav and Magen Mishnah being the Davar Shomid Lazel Darko Kach. He doesn't say that it has to be something which is, is somehow intrinsically related to this purpose. The Ran Zal Shom Ganke Dochad Vorav, and the Ran also rejects the um, the the uh, the the, um, the Rashi was saying that it has to be forever permanently. So the Gamba Shabbos Echamani Yichu, he says, even for one Shabbos it works. Eloha Samishim Lein Darko Bekach. But the bottom line is that the stone doesn't work not because it's only for one Shabbos, but because it's not the Darko of a stone to use for that purpose. Kumosh Kosavli. Zazi Shabbat Daf Kufchav Hei, put the Rav, there's a bracket. Zazi Shabbat Daf Kufchav Hei, put the Raviyan Bravasi, Tamar Gemar Vazu Tamayah, but there's a Shem Tom Baza, and Shem Lafiyah Dear Rashi Baran, Shani Evan Manocha Pi Chavis. Uh, stone on top of a barrel is different. is that and is as that uh, is in accordance with that. Okay, so either you need to have um, um, a, a, a eternal designation, or perhaps either that's according to the Rashba, or according to Ran, even that doesn't work because stones just don't become barrel stoppers. Meme the Ram has another third opinion. Do any machal be davar ludavar kedas harashba? He doesn't distinguish between one th- uh, something which is dark uh, kach, which is not dark kach, like the Rashba does not. The gamma matim davar the yichlom, but we don't have to see you need a, ter- a permanent designation. We dare davar toli. According to him, it depends. Ima davar roi tashim shkmoshu. If the thing is suitable for use as is, as dai be machshava, then so it suffices. But if you have a bomb or something, even just sitting on the palm fronts, whatever it is, is sufficient. My low side of the image shall be a hobbit and a So, why? Why does it work by the stone on top of the barrel? Mission is then move on. Gump came behush. This is clear also to the, to, but, but, to the naked eye, so to speak. 
The stone called these bam and circle is a tikkun. To use the stone to close a, uh, a a barrel, you need some sort of uh, fixing of the stone. Blows the enemy for otherwise it doesn't sit well on top of the barrel. Therefore, he says that when you just put it there, it becomes the bust of shield over also just like a row of, um, um, like we said, by a row of stones. The bracket says here, In fact, <coughs> the, there is a, 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 a parallel made there in the Gemara between the stone on top of the barrel, and the rows of stones. Rows of bricks. Ach Rabbi Yasi so where the emikum well rows of stones. Ach Rabbi Yavi so where the emikum is back. Rabbi Yavi holds. Rabbi Yasi holds that the stone is less. Um, no, no. Can you back with rows of uh, bricks? Rabbi Yavi so as he said, the emik kam kum is back. The stone is more lenient. Well, more lenient vis-a-vis the stone than the row of bricks. Need back li is it took an anroy cloud. Need back the the stones the 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 bricks unless you make some sort of tikkun not too at all. Suitable at all. Avo Evan, but the stone, a bichavis on top of a barrel, mulach ech shehu. It can work just being placed there. But I'm going to say the doyman zelazam, Rabbi Ami holds also the, the stones out of the barrel, needs a tikkun. Ka pasku Rabbi Ami baze, and why we pasku Rabbi Ami lechumel, chal tani to rap aran, mishun lutgam rab, so we can't pay no letter, ancient, because rab also holds like him. Rab got him rab in raya, even though from rab it's no evidence. The little she does break by my time name, no, I'm allowed to come to my son. He also eats it by the, also even by the palm fronts, either my son. The company back there, and I'll be a cover, sadly, of Asi, Yoki, Gabai. But when it comes to the stone on top of the barrel, Rabbi Asi is a Das Yoki, the visiting Rabbi Ami in Rabbi, and therefore, since they're Machmir, we pass from the Chumra of the Duke. Memva, the Zero Shon Rabbi, and Rabbi says, the Sifa Chabes, also, the Sos Pia Chabes, Babi Rabakas, now let's cut, cut, cover the, 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 the um, Top of a barrel with a stone or with a, a block of wood. Or he's going to use them to close the door. Or the to by barzo or to somehow plug up a, a, a faucet. Even though you thought about it from before Shabbos began, also. Unless you set it for that purpose permanently. Just for that Shabbos? No, it's not sufficient. It's only about something which people don't normally designate for this purpose. Go on, like those things we mentioned. But things which are the normal derech, such as people do use stones to crack knots in a, in a regular way. For that, just designate for one Shabbos does suffice. Those who say the low shnot, there's no distinction. Some say you have to do some uh, fixing it before Shabbos begins. I can't show them. The first opinion is the opinion of the run. That um, it, has to, it has to be something which is permanent. Uh, uh, um, in other words, like the run said before, you could for one Shabbos can work, but only if it's something which is dark or cut. And since it's not dark or dark, so therefore you need Yuchud for eternity for the stone on top of the barrel. But she has asked the Rosh, Yuchud over to the whole Olam. The second piece of the Rosh, but no matter what it is, it requires eternal designation. But she has asked the Mordechai, the Emissary, the Mordechai, the third piece of the Mordechai, that by stone you require some sort of Mordechai. If you must have asked the Ramam, Toli im raka dover roi mutor, but Tashuk starts me by Yom. With the Ramam, we said if it's something which is suitable for that purpose, then it's premier as long as you use it a bit from before Shabbos began. The Kosh came Chishul and Bivod Yom, and certainly even if you didn't use it, but if you thought about it, that's even better. Near the can of Muxit Rabbanan, since Muxit Rabbanan says the Rosh Hashanah, Yeish Lismoch Alameko, you can rely on the leaning opinion that that uh, use or thought suffices. That's our main base in the Yosha Tavas, that's our Ran Shid there with Shaliko. Since the base is the one that the Ran's primary opinion, that has to be. A uh, uh, permanent uh, 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 yichud uh, in order for it to work. If it's something which is not dark or bakach. Well, El Simon Rachel test about tomorrow. Masha Loba and Yichulom tells you don't need permanent designation. By tomorrow, Losha Tikum Bavani. And by tomorrow, it's not shy to fix the stones. The head of the double portion of the Sheva Evan for cover, cover, Cheno Zazm, and Kamuk Shoshua love. Also, it's clear that if you sit to sit on a heavy stone which doesn't move when you sit on it, answer Shum Dover. They don't eat it at all. Why? The Muktzah Lona Sarmigir Rakvatiltul. 
because as long as I'm moving, you're not moving the muktzah. It's not a problem to sit on the muktzah regardless. That's when you sit on a um, stone or a large beam, even though it's muktzah. Can I shave a sun mutter? I have to sit also on the grass. Came a shubukubayim arts, which are connected to the ground. Shubzizim yeshiva so they made it tilt because you move them, move them when you squirm around on the ground. It's not tiltal. Shem mukubayim arts, they ain't got tilted. They're stationary. They're connected to the ground. After the mulei, they shiva so they made loshua chadumem, and even by saying they made some of them plucked out inadvertently. How would Darshan describe it? That's not your intention. Man's a pure creation. It's not something which is necessarily going to happen. And we're going to see that, uh, that you also have to walk on them, so also you have to sit on them as well, because then it's not considered to be moving. Uh, the Mishnah Bura says that uh, if, if you move them by sitting on them, it, it, it's, it's also accumulating because it's tilted in that side. It's not direct. As long as you don't move them directly your hands, it's okay. And the mirror also agrees with this. It says that, um, well, well, the mirror it says, in Mokum Shein Tzorech, you don't absolutely have to sit on them. Roy Lefroshim says it's best to separate yourself from doing so. Okay, back to the Arach HaShulchan. Memzai. Mutal HaLachtoch or nothing. You're allowed to cut off a branch from a palm tree from before Shabbos. He gives the Yachtu Dabra Mutal Shabbos designated for permitted purpose on Shabbos. Kamal Anif HaShulchan. The guy is supposed to do it. So just use it to sweet to uh, 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 get flies off the table. Ola siya primulsha, or to remove crumbs from the table. Ola yema to look or to threaten the child. Ola ischok, or to play with. Let's move to the Tower Shabbos and you have to carry on Shabbos. Nearly, it seems to me, the miyachto bishosh chod will be designated when you cut it. As a chod del say, it's a chichlom, then you don't need to have any permanent designation. So, yesh ka maise, there's nothing greater than maise, you cut it off for the purpose of usage. Hey, so to anapin a metatesh rim bosom. So to be when you take a uh, a, a branch from a broom, um, non I guess uh, when you take it from the broom, you 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 taking it doing ma'aser to use it for some other purpose. And then ma'aser ma'aser lo chashal klum. But at the time you took it, you didn't take of anything. So I got back to the oil, and then afterwards you need to have permanent designation. The damn ma'aser is yichud olam according to which requires that permanent designation. Um, the gemara says bar v'siva koyin, like we explained previously. She makes us my man with designated for these purposes, and he creates Kli Gomer, it's called a total Kli. But Shabbos, also Tosha and Yehudi, and Yehudi. But nevertheless, the Shabbos, you can't cut, cut off the twig or branch by a non Jew. And even non Jew took, uh, picked it off by, on his own volition. Nevertheless, also, but till you're not allowed to move it to Muksa, because it's Muksa, the Shabbos, Lo, Mahani, Yichud. Yichud has you from before Shabbos, not on Shabbos itself. But feel plush or any of any of the Arab Shabbos. What about the non Jew cut off the tree on Arab Shabbos? Um, if Yisrael lo yadam is Arab Shabbos, if Yisrael doesn't know the designated till Shabbos begins, a mukta. The issue is that we mahani yichud shen any hudi. We're not sure if the designation non Jew is works for these matters. Mechayim chol dar mukta yichud mahani, and in specific matters mukta whether his designation works. The near at the law mahani. He says I don't think it does work. Since for the Jew it's Muksa Ben Hashmashos because he's not aware that the non Jew is fixing it up for him. Because for the entire day. Memches, Pishtan Saruk, if you have combed flax, it's a Tamar Menupat or, 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 or uh, carded wool. No Siamak, which you put on a, a wound. If Chashalim be bodyom l'tima makom, we could clip at them from before Shabbos, put them on the wound. Or she knows how God makom is shlachas me bodyom. Or if you put it on the wound before before Shabbos begins, or she seven b'shmon, or you 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 dye them for the purpose of putting them on a wound. The guy who dyed them, you did a ma'aser to makom kaimets for the purpose of the wound. Or she karcha be mishicha, you tied it with a string. Leave now makom Shabbos in order to be able to put it on the makom Shabbos. The Be'elu Yesh Machshov Amai So Shimon Shibod Yom. In all these cases, there's either thought or activity or usage. Me Bod Yom. Interest and activity and usage are different. You can't aim as a Shemuk. So there's no Muk to here. We should refer now. We like a zone also that we should refer. She ain't El Kamo Malbush because the bandage is only like a gold clothing. She likes to be gone. The Me'amako Ba'amako said he should not. Um, his real clothes should not scratch the wound. 
Actually, some say the Sari Marshal of Chul, some say that thought is insufficient, but Tzorach Ian, that's not clear their opinion. The Kalkul of Chul Yama Sari Marshal of that moves them, everybody should agree that Marshal of suffices. He's on Bracus, his mother can have Rome's question, and his Shabbos rejects this. May not be in the Dina, they could there be Shoyna, evidently that Marshal of works in and of itself. Mentes, or is he Bashin? Dried hides. Bench of Uma mentioned by Abbas, whether they grow up to a craftsman or to the householder, Mutta Talti allowed to move them. The Kazi Yashiv is suitable for sitting. Avalach in moist hides, and we wish you not suitable for sitting. We assume a tilto, so you're not allowed to move them either. Yeshim, some say the Oros Behem Agasla, the, 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 the hide of, of a, uh, uh, um, a large animal, Bay Lachim in Yashim, whether it's moist or dry, you move to the tilt, you're allowed to move. I was so dark about of a small animal like sheep, a surish, and we're going to call because they're not so suitable when they're moist to slip to sit on them. Okay, because she won't let me but yo, but she won't let me talk about them before she began to sit on them. Um, Mr. Brewer says, uh, that the primary opinion is that it has to die to be dry, but if it's dry, it doesn't matter if they're cured or not cured, work or not work. He says, I'll show him further. Yeah, you are elite. Seems to me the Zelb is my Gmarshi Yoshim Arts. It's similar to what the Mishabur just said. And that's when they sat on the wine, they sat on the ground. But if you don't want to shave a Oros, I shoot them all Stuchim Arts. And sit on these hides which are spread on the ground. I will eat them, but they come in Oros Mukti and all types of hides are Mukta. Don't do any of them, Kavle Shorts. We don't ever sit on leather on uh, 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 leather hides, and we can yichli mod yom. So unless it's designated for before Shabbos begins, let saw all the shchiba to lay to 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 spread out or to lay on. But dinim ki kelim shem lachtem leiser. Okay, at least in our muksa machmas gufa. The kelim shachtem leiser. The mutter tzarch gufa and kom. You can use them for the purpose of themselves and for their place. V'lo mecham etzal. We can't move them from sun to shade. The body is shame keli alze. It certainly has the name of a keli. No, in the slam shabal bayis mutz the term till the beams of a bal bus we have to carry. Lo kapsu la mishtavash rami. It's not concerned that they should be set aside and not used. But shall uman also. But if they belong to crafts and it's forbidden to within the kabe life, then like mutz the machman says on kis because you're meticulous that they're not used for any other purpose. Vei on mutz the kishim will be but yom mitayim and pass lor chim. The only way to make them is mutz is by thinking about them from before shabbos began to use them to serve guests. The tashmach some other permitted usage. The slam shall sochim mekain bonim. And the beams which belong to merchants and the storekeepers, I read they have a gunking shomer. They're just like a carpenter's beams. They came in the same name as since they put merchandise on them. Merchandise on them. Vare kaki. They're certainly concerned that it should not be used for any other purpose. We can't come near the dinner called Klish Shemach to Isser, but yet nevertheless, says Roshon, they still have a lot of Klish Shemach to Isser. And we turn them into a group and come and you can move them for their own purpose or the purpose of the place. So he says the brackets is manei lo shchich in the sum shavah bais. Our day is not so prevalent to find beams which belong to the householder. I will show only yesh gam say, but beams which belong to the craftsman. That is certainly a situation which indeed we still have today.